morning, everybody. We're in much warmer climates today, though it's still toque weather. I'm in St. Agath, Manitoba, which is very close to our yard. I slept at our yard overnight, and I have an empty flatbed behind me right now. I'm headed down to Morden, Manitoba. I'm going to switch it out for a loaded flatbed. It's an oversized load. I think it's 10 feet wide. It's going down to Minot, North Dakota, where I'm going to drop it off tomorrow morning, head down to Fargo, get a reload. That's taking me right back to Steinbeck for the weekend here in Manitoba. I just fueled up and I'm gonna give you my stats. Uh, remember we fueled up at Thompson. I fueled up again down here in southern Manitoba and uh, I'm gonna be talking uh, mostly in liters. I'll try to do the conversions here for the U US guys. I was pulling an empty dry van behind me. So it was like a big parachute behind my truck. This truck is meant for pulling decks, which is flat. This was like a big wall behind me that I was pulling through the wind. The weather was all right. It wasn't windy. I wasn't going against wind or anything. And uh, I drove 842 kilometers, or about 523 miles. I burnt 342 liters, or 90 US gallons. That averaged out to 40 liters, 40.62 liters per 100 kilometers, or 5.79 miles per gallon with an empty trailer. So uh, I'm averaging between around six miles per gallon with a uh, flatbed. Takes a little more fuel, well, 5.79, that's not too far below six, but it's still not great. Uh, price of diesel fuel here is $2.12.9, so $2.13 Canadian per liter. Cost me $728.12 Canadian to drive from Thompson empty down here to Southern Manitoba. $728 one day. So uh, I burnt 86 cents per kilometer. That's Canadian, this is all Canadian dollars. 86 cents Canadian per kilometer or $1.39 per mile. The numbers are just a little bit lower for my US followers since 50% of you are in the US. I'll quickly give you the conversion. So here. 728 CAD to USD. Come on. Come on, Google. $537.34 is what we burnt yesterday pulling the dry van about 523 miles south. And that would equal $1.39 per mile Canadian. I burnt a dollar and three cents per mile US. That's how much it cost me every mile, a dollar and three cents US as I came down here. Or That's the stats on the truck for pulling an empty dry van. For those of you who are wondering, if you just didn't care, thanks for listening to me through all of that. I appreciate it. We're gonna go pick up our load now and head down to Minot. I'm running a Cummins ISX engine under my hood and it's a 2008 Kenworth W900L if you're wondering if you're new and you're wondering what the truck is and uh, that does affect my fuel economy quite a bit I've got this beautiful beautiful hood out in front of me here and you do have to pay the hood tax to have one of those which means your fuel economy is usually about a mile per gallon less than the or or more I mean some of the Volvos they're getting ridiculous like nine ten miles per gallon but uh, you know I really love the Kenworth W900s and that come they, they come with a price and uh, that's my choice. I mean, it's different when I choose, right? To have the extra cost. I don't like it when other people force extra cost on me, but if I choose it, I mean, I can't really complain about it then, right? I just really, I've always wanted a W900. They're my favorite truck. I regret nothing. It's a little dirty today. I had it clean, but those Northern roads got a little bit of dirt up on her. And this trailer is filthy. Glad I'm switching it out for a different one. I hope that one's cleaner. My load today is over dimension. This top one is chalked in and strapped into the second one and down to the trailer. And then they're both chained down and tied down from the bottom as well. It's like two trailers. Yeah. And uh, I realized. Uh, as I was loading that, either someone stole my flags or they flew off my truck somehow. 
So I had to use these little temporary ones just to get to the co-op down the street. So there's something on here, right? Got down to the co-op. I was able to buy some new ones. I don't know what happened to my other ones, but they needed to be replaced anyway, so not too sad. 10 pack, overdimensional flags. In the back it says, guaranteed to go the distance. The, pre the preferred choice flag built to withstand the rigorous Canadian weather extremes. So I'm gonna quickly throw these on the trailer and we gotta get going. I'm in a bit of a rush. When am I not in a rush? Much, much better, right? A lot more visible than those other ones. Oh, reminds me, there goes one right now. Hey, I wanted to keep you. Hey, where'd the rest of them go? Shoot, I thought I had them. I do have them in my pocket. Oh, there's another one over there. I want to keep these just in case if, uh, just in case I need them again, you know? Ah, uh, went right in the water. Oh, that was right. <sighs> Pretty slick looking load. Should just sneak right through the wind. Keep these for another day. Just in case, you know. And I bought extra flags too. I think I got a 10 pack and I usually only used four. So that should last me for a while. Put those there for now. We gotta get moving. Okay, so this took 15 minutes. It's not too bad. Checked on the load, got the flags, replaced them with proper ones. I don't know what happened to my flags. I'm, I'm very curious now. Did I take them out in my shop and leave them in my shop or did they like, did I lose them somewhere? Strange, we'll never know the answer. phone in let you charge right there okay off we go oversized load in tow Gasoline price here in Winkler on October uh, 27th, 2022 is $1.799 or $1.80 per liter. It's probably about $5.50 US per US gallon. Excuse me. Excuse me. Do you not have a stop sign? I guess not. Why do I have a stop sign then? blue let's get there quick feels good to be back on flatbeds vans is sort of nice every now and then but this truck is not designed to pull pull vans it's literally it's like a giant parachute behind me just sucks the fuel and it's not as fun oh boy how am i gonna get on here you almost need a traffic light here. See, now this side is clearing up, but I got a vehicle turning here. So I gotta wait for this pickup. I should still have time though. If he gets out of the way real quick. Here we go. Got one car coming here. They are both in the right lane. Okay, so I'm gonna take the left lane. trailer to go over. Got to test out my load securement a little bit there. So 
that was the co-op between Morden and Winkler here in southern Manitoba. Winkler's just ahead of us here. We're headed east on 14. We're gonna go uh, all the way down here to the 75 south, which will turn into Interstate 29 in North Dakota. I really wanna get over. All right, my turn, my turn. I'm coming in, I'm coming in. You saw the signal. There we go. There we go, back where I belong, in the right lane. Nice day at least. No snow down here. That's always a good day. Hey, hi, hi, hi. Hi, careful. That one was okay. That one was okay. filming today it's two big bale trailers baler trailers is that what they call them they're about 10 feet wide and what's great about parking here I'm at the Schatz uh, truck stop in Minot Great about this is uh, my customers right next door. Right next door. They open at 8 a.m., so I want to be there at 7:30 a.m. taking my chains off and my straps off, so that I can get unloaded right away and head on down to Fargo. Get home as soon as I can tomorrow. Enjoy my weekend. 
So that's different day to day on the amount of footage I get. This is my 11th clip of the day that I've been filming. I don't keep them all and I cut them down. Uh, but yesterday, I think I had 47 clips. <laughs> Man, I still gotta go through all that and edit. <coughs> I gotta catch up. I try to release my videos the very next day or within a couple of days. With my schedule on the road in this regional position, uh, well, you guys have seen it. It's a rush, rush, rush type of, type of job. So I don't always have time every day to put everything together and upload it, but I do the best that I can. And uh, I try to get it uploaded as soon as possible. So thanks for tuning in to this short little day today. Tomorrow, oh, well, we're gonna be up early. So we'll probably have a lot more footage filmed tomorrow. Hopefully I can get unloaded right away and that everything goes smoothly with my reload. I'm actually bringing that load pretty close to Steinbeck and just going home from there. So I'm thinking, uh, Fargo is what? How far is Fargo from here? Google, help me. One second, one second. I'm gonna ask the all-knowing Oracle here. Google, 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 Google. How far is Fargo from here? 430 kilometers or four hours and 15 minutes. Kind of a four and a half hours of driving from here. So let's say they start unloading me at 8.30. Hey, let's give them a bit of time. Nine, 10, 11, 12, one. At one o'clock I'll be in Fargo, I can get reloaded, hopefully by like 2, be out of there by 2.30. And then it's 4 hours home again, 3.30, 4.30, 5.30, 6.30. And where I'm unloading, I can unload late as well. Uh, it's freight that I can just unload myself. You can just roll it off, as far as I know. So, I mean, it's 6.30, get unloaded. And I'll probably be home pretty late tomorrow still. But uh, I'm thinking I'll probably be at my shop before 8 p.m. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. I'll let you know tomorrow. Tune in and let's see how accurate my uh, estimating skills are. I've been doing this for a while, so it's I can sort of throw it together of how long everything should take. And I think I should be at my shop, truck parked inside and turned off, cleaning it out at least, at least cleaning it out by 8 p.m. tomorrow. You think I can do it? And one more thing before I go, you'll see around my face here on the, I think it's on the left side of your screen. Is that over here? I forget which side is which because it's flipped once it's seen. Well, you get it. There's two screens of other vlogs of mine that'll pop up. I believe one is my playlist that has all of my videos from season one. I, I think all the way from before that even. Season one all the way through to today. There's, the, there's that one playlist there. It's called uh, TJV number one, the beginning. If you click that, it'll take you to my playlist and it'll start you from the beginning of all my vlogs up to today. There's a lot of catching up to do if you're new. The other one should be my most recent upload before this one, I think. And then on the other side, you'll see my profile picture. Me in the cowboy hat, my wife beside me, Canada flag in the background. If you click that, it'll bring you to the page where you can subscribe to my channel. So if you want to ignore these other ones here, that's fine, I don't mind. Click my face over here, click my profile picture, it'll take you to the page where you can subscribe. It's free, and I made it real easy for you. I'd really appreciate it, it helps me out a lot. Leave a like if you did like my video and a comment down below. I'd love to know what you think, what you want to see more of, what you're thinking. I don't know what your favorite color is. Whatever you want to say down there. It's all yours. I'll talk to you tomorrow.